Folks, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage here, back with the Supreme Patriarch, Metal Daddy, Balthasar Gelt. And we are going to be taking down some vampires. Um, it's interesting. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Uh, I think we were going to lay this ambush. Yeah, it didn't work. And now we've got vampire rebels down here that could retake Schwarzhofen. Honestly, though, as long as the vampire rebels don't, like, turn into Sylvania when they take it, it's not great, but it's not the end of the... Well, I say it's not the end of the world. I don't want these dwarves to come rotting through here and pick up that settlement, because that would be annoying. I do want to actually own the settlement, if at all possible. We're making more money. I really want to focus on getting a few of the elite units into this army, and in order to do that, um, I need to be able to build the engineer's workshop. And that's going to take 11,250 gold. So I'm going to be saving some gold. Some of you may be wondering, like, Eric, you're not spending any money. I'm saving some gold because we need a growth point here. It's six turns till we get it. We're going to have to pay 7,200 to upgrade this. And then 11,000 to get this. Um, it's actually still going to take us a lot of time. So, Eric, you need to get those unique units. I'm working on it. We're very close. You all just got to be patient. It's just really turn ending now before yes. we will get some of those sweet elite units and we'll put them to use, okay? We finally put an end to Black Venom. I mean, as if you all hadn't had enough of them so far this campaign. <laughs> I think we all have. I think we all have. Um, I'm going to uh, probably build... Um, probably build a growth building here. Because we're not going to really be worried about getting attacked there for the moment. Um, unless Grimgore's Ard Boys show up real quick. I'm really frustrated. We're going to lose the moot, and I've invested all this money here if I go get rid of these rebels. Ready. By the comet. But i got to get rid of the rebels. All dwarf griffites. They don't have guns. You summon me. Why do I have interest in units that don't have guns? Yes, that will do. Uh, gonna lose it the moot. I'm gonna get back over here and, and hopefully dissuade the vampires from ruining the moot, but they probably will. I'm honestly gonna click this and get my money back. <laughs> because they're probably gonna wreck the moot this turn, so I'm gonna get a refund just in case. I uh, can't save it in time. Alright. Let's see here. Again, not going to be spending money because I need to save a bunch. We do have a skill point for Daddy Balthasar. Now, we needed Lightning Strike bad not too long ago, so we really should get Lightning Strike. Recruitment cost, attrition. We already get some help from attrition due to an ability we picked up, so that'd be good. Be able to push into Vampire Lands with uh, without taking much, if any, attrition. Grinzat's going to rebel. If the uh, Dawi stay there, they may take care of it for us. They did it for us once before. Let's see what they do again. Yeah, the rebels popped up, so it's possible Barak Var may whack them for me. We'll see. I hope they do, because it's not real quick to travel back. Holy vampires. We've Oh, that, those same armies that are after me. And I can't retreat because I'm in a force march. Oh, boy. Air may have gone and blown it here. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I had the Sunmaker in this army. Did I lose it? Did I lose this? How could I have lost the Sunmaker if I lost it? Uh, I, I'm not like terribly worried about... If the cavalry wasn't here, I would feel pretty safe. The cavalry is here, though. and That is a lot of vampire cavalry units to kill. It is not easily done. Especially if the terrain's not good, and then all my units are going to be starting the battle tired as well. This is not good. I guess the vampires were going to have it. Like, I refunded that settlement, and they're like, what? He can't do that. And so they've decided to come make me pay for not allowing them to uh, sack the small settlements. Because that's what they truly enjoy. And I've robbed them of that opportunity. A lot of vampy reinforcements. There's the water there. I need... The longer I can... 
keep the vampires from assaulting me with like full force, the better. I'm going to try something here. I don't know if it'll work, but I think there's pretty much cavalry in every reinforcing army that comes in. So I'm going to try and draw some of it into our waiting arms here and shoot them up real good. Oh, they deployed right here. All right, let's see if we can get the attention of some of their cavalry. Just do some damage in here. Eh, not bad. Got a little bit of something done. All right, come on. Come on, cavalry. Charge me. Charge me. There we go. There we go. Charge me. I'm going to dive bomb their cavalry with Balthasar, see if we can get them to stay put in front of my guns for a minute. Focus the Vargolf. Okay, Balthasar, hang in there, buddy. Hang in there, buddy. I gotta kill a Vargolf and then I'll be right over to help you. If we can kill off a whole bunch of their cavalry real quick, this is possible we can get a win out of this. And Balthasar is acting as a great backdrop here. I thought I grouped these guys. Okay, Vargeist is gone. Or, sorry, not Vargeist, uh, Vargolf. Varg something. Okay, this is good. We, we just got, uh, it wasn't a freebie, but it was about as close as a freebie as we're gonna get right now. Okay, everybody fall back. And let's find a good position where the terrain will work for all of our guns. Fall back. Fall back. We're going to take our cavalry. And we're going to go find some more willing customers. Ooh, actually, there's some Cairn Wraiths coming. Give me the uh, silver bullets. We'll just uh, pop these Cairn Wraiths with the silver bullets real quick. If we can keep getting rid of their cavalry or Vargolf successfully, we can win. Their infantry is of little concern to me. Ah, we've lost the attention of the Cairn race. And I'm pulling further back here because I want to have more room to skirmish these, like uh, Vargolfs, for instance. Balthasar should be healing. He is. Okay, well, now the Cairn Wraiths are coming again. Alright, you gotta run because these guys are quick. Man, this makes me wish Balthasar had something to slow units down. I'm gonna turn the silver bullets around. Come on back up, boys. I need your help. We've got some more customers coming. Excellent. Go get those Cairn Wraiths. Uh, I don't think I can keep up with the Cairn Wraiths. Balthasar doesn't have magic attacks, so... Oh, I can almost catch these Cairn Wraiths. Maybe I should just melee them. Yeah, there we go. That got their attention when I clicked the melee order. Yeah, there we go. Delete some Cairn Wraiths. Again, that's a nice one because these this is one unit our free company militia actually will not like fighting. So getting a freebie here would be great. I'm 
actually gonna charge with Balthasar, because if the Graveguard comes in there, it'll still be fine. This seems like a good opportunity to knock out a couple of units for almost no penalty. Let's back up a little. I'm in a blocky formation because I need to be able to... Oh, yeah, run, 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 run. Okay, let's lure. We got some cavalry coming in. And our uh, silver bullets are in a dicey situation. Alright, yeah, it's good though. The cavalry's way ahead of the infantry, so we're getting very lucky right now because the AI is making a massive mismanagement here. I'll try and save up some uh, winds of magic here. Go ahead and do this on the flank. Run, 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 run. All these units are very important for me. We can't afford to lose any. I'm going to strip the armor off of one of the Black Knights here. That should last long enough to help be pretty effective. Balthasar, dive bomb him. Hold him in position. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. They don't have much armor, and it is going to show. When Balthasar gets a hold of someone's armor, it hurts bad when the free company open fire keep moving keep moving Balthasar is gonna take some damage but this is so worth it this is so worth it it's actually the advantage right now of him being on a Pegasus instead of anything larger because uh, he won't take every single bullet like this but he does take some damage nonetheless. Alright, get back in the air, Balti. Hey, quit wasting ammo! Ammo's precious. Alright, there's two Vargulfs and one more cavalry unit. If we can get those, that will be quite a big deal. I'm gonna bring the Black Lions up. There's some more can rates. I'm gonna try and keep my silver, uh, silver bullets. Let's go get some more customers. There's another Black Knight with Lance and Barding. Balthasar's got to heal off that last one. But yeah, if we can get rid of the cavalry, the vampires are going to have some serious trouble. The Vargulfs will be uh, next priority too. I still see at least two of those. Don't fire at will. Our objective here is to get the attention of the cavalry. Yeah, that's what I wanted to. I wanted the uh, Black Lions to come get in range and start firing. That cavalry is just not biting. One of the Vargulfs just looks like he uh, took the bait, maybe. Let's shoot him and really make sure we get his attention. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, there we go. Alright, back up. We still don't have all of the cavalry dealt with, which I'm a little concerned. Silver bullets are about to wreck that Karen Wraith if it comes in rain. Keep running away. Keep running, gents. Alright. Can we shoot this thing real quick? Yeah, we did get some shots on him. Formation march. Nice. Nice, Take nice. Alright, you shoot the cavalry. Balthasar. I need the armor off that cavalry. And let's go into fire at will. Draw these guys in range of the free company. I can't dive bomb here because that Vargulf is far too close for comfort. Yes, yes. Just deleted the Black Knights. Shoot that, shoot that, shoot that. Get a shot. Vargulf down. Take the Vargulf down. Hit the Cairn Wraiths. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Hit him, hit him. Shoot the Cairn Wraiths. Yes, yes. Fall back. Alright, Balti. Let's 
start targeting some, uh... I'll st I don't know. Let's just start targeting these units on the flank. Oh, look at that. The Lamian Vampire Lord got slain. This is good. Toggle skirmish mode, because I may not be able to keep my soul focus. So actually, I need these guys over here. Turn skirmish mode off. we got to go shoot a Vargulf to death. Let's get a bombardment here. And a bombardment here. Okay, start shooting that. Alright, the bombardments are going to have to be very, very frequent. Where's my uh, silver bullets? Silver bullets, you're being recalled to the flank. Let's do the same thing with the uh, Black Lions. Vargulf is gone. Balthy, keep the bombardments on the wraiths. Perfect. Let's go into fire at will and just come on a total outflanking. Yep, 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 yep. Get all the way out here to the flank. All right, Sterling's Revenge. Hang in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can do this, we can do this. Balthasar, let's get the corpse cart. There's Manfred. Um, I don't know if we have enough ammo left to get Manfred, but let's try. Do some bombardments. Yeah, nice flanking maneuver here. Alright. The men are holding, at least for now. It's gonna take a lot of magic, but... Um, ooh, if I can get all these guys right in the same little... Here, let's see if we can get Manfred's attention. Oh, they're starting to lose their leadership. There we go. Final transmutation. Yes. yes. Balthasar melts vampires, folks. That is how you gun down multiple armies of vampires and tell the great tale. Helmengorst Someone we've never heard of, and Manfred von Karstein, Ku Kuan Rada or whatever, whatever, Lamian Vampire Lord, get wrecked, get wrecked. That was like two and a half to one in terms of numbers. Go home, Manfred, you're drunk. It still sows Sylvania with a massive power differential over us, even though we just dropped three of their armies and we've taken two of their settlements. Wow. So I don't know if that means they have a whole bunch more, or what. Stole a gambler's armor. Um, Counter the rumors. Lose imperial authority. Do it with the tre- uh, We'll do it with the treasury for now. Um... All right, Daddy Balthasar, finish off this Lamian loser. Moving off. Did we unlock the Emperor's Wrath? I think we did. Oh no, no, Emperor's Wrath is one of the uh, yeah, it's never mind. It's one of the other units we need. We could get the Sunmaker. We got the Luminarch, and we've also got the Hammer of Witches available to us. I'm trying to think what would be most helpful against these vampires. We've lost the Sunmaker. Hammer of Witches would be really good against certain things, but it's not great in every scenario. I don't know what I want in that army. I'd like to have a Witch Hunter, but I don't have the right building for it. By the comet. Let's kill off Gorst. It is best to move. We could retake Fort Oberstyr here. Would we be overengaged? Do they have two more armies back here? I don't think they do. 
We're not going to replenish terribly fast here. Or actually, we'll be in pretty good shape because we have a uh, Swartzhofen. Now, it's a bit of a risk, but if we can get Swartzhofen up to Tier 3 with defenses... I know I need to save some money, but I'm going to spend a little on these two. Come on, Barak Bar, can you help me out here? You dare approach yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, I've got another helper. I need your help, helpy. Let's get over here and see what we can do. I'm not building anything at Grin's at, am I? Okay, no. I'd hate to lose it, though, because we get all that pottery there. Um, oh, we get lead here, too. Crap, I was going to build a growth building. Having the public order sure is nice. But if I tear it down, Dad Gun. Well, we're going to make up the money from the iron mining pit. We could tear this down and build some growth there to help it get taken off faster. I just wanted to be able to upgrade. Ooh, File Dwarf can level up. Oy, I have so much I need to spend on. Well, that's okay because we're still waiting quite a few turns here for surplus points. We should have time to save what we need to. Fildorf needs to be upgraded. There's some buildings we could really use there. Like, we need to make a... Um, since uh, Gundalf, the uh, witch hunter, died so early in his career, we're going to uh, reboot him as uh, Gundalf the Black. Uh, kind of like how Gandalf the Grey became Gandalf the White, but he's become Gundalf the Black Powder. See? Get it? You know, it's a gun joke on a gun campaign. I'm sure you all didn't see that one coming. <laughs> all right, we now have Lightning Strike. There is a unit open what? in this army. We should definitely just pull a unit in here. Like, even if I don't keep it permanently. Uh, honestly, the Luminarch of Hish has a net. And that would be really kind of a cool thing to combine with the Black Lions and all this cavalry. Let's let's tinker with it. Let's have some fun. Let's put the laser gun in the army. It may not be traditional black powder, but it is still um, a gun unit, nonetheless. We're going to have a rebellion again at Swartzhofen. That's going to be like every two turns. We'll use our second army and see what we can do about these rebellions. Because if we can keep the vampire's attention and hold in another place until we get fortified, I mean, that's going to be massive. And then sooner or later... Uh, I say sooner rather than later, actually, is what I should say. We're going to have these elite troops. Once I get Eisenbombers and, and Blitzschutzen and some of these other ones, sieging um, Eastern Sylvania will be possible. It's going to be very difficult to do with just uh, the units that we have. Okay, that Luminarch cost us some serious upkeep. What kind of army is this? Am I going to be Never. stepping into my death? Praise Hopefully not. But we don't got much of a choice. We got to get these guys' attention and get them away from our settlement. And then we got to go get the other ones. You summon me. I mean, I haven't done anything at Fort Obersteyer. I am the Supreme Patriarch. We could just swing back here. Because this will make sure that Swartzhofen can't be taken by the rebels. Fort Obersteyer is of less concern to me. We can just retake it. I don't think they can make it all the way to the moot on this turn. So I'll take this calculated risk here. Let's get the growth. Alright. I do want to have tier 3 defenses so that we can't immediately be knocked out in these locations. Plus, I need some trade resources to help get my income up. Alright, Balthasar. We got you lightning strike. I feel like we should do a uh, quartermaster. And Logistician would also be good. Helps save us all the money we can save. So again, more elite units. That's our goal. Lots of fun elite units to go wreck the vampires with. And then my goal after that is to take the elite units and go fight the chaos invasion with guns. And then that'd probably be the main objectives that I'd ever had for this campaign, really. And we could probably do like another fun, um, kind of more thematic type campaign. Oh, look, man. That's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Alaric. Now that is a brother right there. That is a brother. He's coming to help us out against the uh, Empire Rebels. That is a true friend. A fellow gun user, the Dawi. Is that human rebels at Fort Obersteyer? It is. That is 
interesting. That will work. A bit unexpected. Waste my potential. Okay. More vampires is dead. Follow me. Can we make it all the way back to Fort Overstire? Man, I'm gonna be real close. Yeah, we're, we can reinforce it, so we won't give it up. Nice. Okay, see our income pop back up when we got the, the extra iron resource. And we can uh, go ahead and spend a little more to get some more tradable iron. And I wonder if anybody else would be willing to trade with us what? now that we do have I iron. Listen, but my time is can so we? Weak oh, they're you. just not doing it. I've tried really hard. <laughs> Wissenland is just not easy to deal with, folks. They are not easy to deal with. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to be friends. They're not making it particularly easy. Alright, Gunther Braun here. It's, uh, we're kind of Imperial Gunnery. Those Soots and more. How long till we get another Soots and more? Oh, we have one available. Yes. Yes, we will. Um, I'm just going to take the extra mortar at the moment, and we'll eventually replace the ones we have um, with the one the Sutsun's mortars because they cause no friendly fire. They're absolutely awesome. Sigmarite Arch Lector. Your word is my command. Okay, Grenzat's not about to rebel. How are we doing over? Karak Hearn's good. Fildorf is in pretty good shape. It's gonna be upgraded. Ever vigilant. I kind of want to just go fortify Swartzhofen, because then we can hold against the vampires here. Okay. If we can just hold the vampires in these two settlements, that'll give me the chance to push forward, keep the fight on their turf. Keep it out of our turf. Hey, speaking of, um, there's an awesome uh, viewer of mine who's keeping a kill count on all of this. I'm going to go pull that up real quick and uh, read you all the current kill count in the campaign. He's taking the time to put that out there, so I'm going to get it for you. All right, so, okay, uh, okay, really? Okay, Riley? I don't <laughs> Probably get it wrong. Um, he says... Uh, he goes on the name of uh, Kill Scribe on my Discord, and uh, here's the kills. Skull Takers, the faction was destroyed. We killed 426 of them. Black Venom, faction now destroyed. 9,355 kills. Von Karsteins, also faction destroyed. 8,234 kills against them. Empire Rebels, we have killed 20, 2,702. Norska, Destroyed the faction. This is one of those little reinforcing battles. 861 kills. Sylvania has lost 16,883 reanimated souls to us. And the Beastmen have lost 2,083. Thank you so much. Okay, really, that's awesome. And also, there was one other absolutely epic comment that I want to read out on video. And uh, it came from uh, Ite Zieberman. Um, and he basically took the Napoleon Total War trailer and uh, made it work for this Balthasar campaign. It says, my enemies are many, my equals are none. In the shade of dead trees, they said Sylvania can never be conquered. In the land of mountains and dwarves, they said the greenskins could never be humbled. <laughs> In the realm of chaos and snow, they said Norska could never be tamed. Now they say nothing. They fear me like a force of nature, a dealer of thunder and lead. I say, I am Balthasar. I am Supreme Patriarch. So that, that is probably one of the best comments ever left on my camp, uh, on any of my videos. And then, of course, Warner, who had asked me to name uh, Gundalf, um, he uh, left a quote that says, Gunther, run, you fool. Lord of the guns, the fellowship of the guns. <laughs> <laughs> we will make Gundolf the black, like I said, uh, Warner. And thank you, everybody else, for the comments. I'm going to go in and I'll respond to all the comments that you all left. Um, so fear not. If you left a comment, I will go respond to you. Not all of them can make it into the video, obviously. But uh, thank you. I love them. They're fantastic. Please, please do. Oh, you know what? If we end up at war with Wissenland, we do want to take the guns of Nuln. 
We could very much end up at war. I, I don't need that war right now. Let's... I hate to do this with Averland, but let's do it. We've got a little bit of room to spare with them. I can now build up Fort Obersteyr. And we can defend Swartzhofen. How many more turns until I pick up? Okay, two more turns till a surplus point, so I've got to have at least 7,200 gold, which we already have. So we've got to hang on to 7,200 gold at least for the next couple turns. Let's do it. I love it. This campaign is so much fun. What's wrong, Manfred? I agree. Let's make a statue out of him. You know. <laughs> well, we don't need a spell. We'll just tie him down to a table and cover him in molten metal. I think that works for me, but, you know, whatever you want to do, Balthasar. Uh, there will be no peace treaties, vampire. What are you going to do about it? Come on. Oh, wow. I, just, I shouldn't ask. Good grief. He's going to do something about it. Whew, blood knights? Yikes. So once again, we have a... F oh, hex wraiths. Yee. All right, we've got a fair... Oh, a black coach. Oh, boy. Yeah, we got some things to take care of here, but we do get some extra uh, free company militia. Extra shooty shooty. But we do have the Luminarch now to help net things and shoot things. Uh, let's... We, we beat him before. Hopefully we can beat him again. I mean, I may be regretting not taking that peace treaty here in a moment, but... I mean, thousands of vampires get re-slain every episode, and I feel like we can do it. That raise the dead mechanic, it is crazy. It makes it so hard to really push uh, the vampires. But at the same time, it's a really cool, like, I'm not complaining. I don't want them to change it. Like, it makes fighting the vampires feel really cool because it kind of feels thematic. Like, they just don't stop. Like, you can't get a break from these guys. <laughs> they just keep coming. And so I feel like it's a really cool mechanic for the vampires, and I, and I do not wish to see it. Uh, changed at this point. I, I think it's extremely appropriate, in fact, for what we would expect. Um, I'd love to use this water to my advantage because it slows units down considerably. It would also slow down some of my own because we ain't skinks and we's not aquatic. That would give them a flanking benefit, though, because they'd be able to approach... Where's my reinforcement? Oh, they're, they're already here. Okay, um... What I'm gonna do is deploy relatively blocky, just so we can overlap a lot of fields of fire. I'm looking for max firepower. I'll bend the flanks back if we need to uh, lay down some protective fire, which we most likely will. I'm gonna scoot away from these trees just a little bit, too. Let's look at this terrain. Yeah, see, that's blocking shots there. That is not ideal. You gotta make sure you're not blocking shots. It's a little bit risky if we route next to the line. We'll pay dearly for that, but I also have to give myself some room to skirmish. Is that the... Oh, it's a corpse card. I thought it was the black coach. Dang. Alright, well, let's get its attention nonetheless. I got the Luminarch. And let's put the lions right here with it. And then we got the silver bullets. Let's just kind of keep them back here. If the hex wraiths charge us, get to work with the silver bullets. Defensive. Do I put these two on defensive as well? Okay. I'm going to take a shot at that corpse cart right off the bat. Or no, I think I'm going to take a shot into the blood knights. Yeah, we can net the Blood Knights and try and take them out the game. But yeah, let's go get his, the attention of any and all of these fast movers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a good shot on those Blood Knights. Get a good shot on the Blood Knights. Not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it. Killed a pretty fair number of them. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, Blood Knights. Come get it. Come get it. You greedy vampire scum. I'd like to save that net if we can't. Yeah, we probably can. Let's get a Baltasar to dive bomb this. Yeah, 
All right, Luminarch, save your shot for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Temple of Luminarch. All right, perfect. Outriders. To battle. My God. No, 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 Luminarch, get back here. Get back here. Get back here. March to battle. Our steeds. Forgot to group my guys. Oh man, yeah, this guy's hurt bad. Stragoy is. Position. Fire. Um, Oh, yeah, baby, that was good. Let's save the net. There might be a moment where we need the net even more than now. The vampires are kind of acting wonky at the moment, so let's just let it happen. Oh, that laser gun, though, folks. Let's lay it down. Here it comes again. Another Luminarch shot. Zap. How's that Luminarch feel, vampire scum? Boy, this guy was healing fast. Let's change that. Oh, don't friendly fire. So close. Yes! Alright, Strigoi is down. Uh, Luminarch is just on a fire at will here. There's this uh, Grave Guard with great weapons coming in that would be a decent sh target for the Black Lions. Oh yeah, who's he gonna get? Probably Vargi. Zoof! <laughs> I love that. Oh, that will not get old. Oh, that Grave Guard got owned by the Black Lions. That was beautiful. Okay, there's another cavalry unit moving in. That may be our net target. Let's target the cavalry. Oh my gosh. Yes! Oh boy. Lay it down thick, boys. Lay it down thick. Okay, watch this. Here we go. Watch this. Alright. Net that. Let's just take the one unit off here. Alright, run. Get back to safety. Run. Run, run, run. Come on, Balthasar. It's time to hit the fallback position. This uh, Black Knight's still going to be losing most of its army. Armor, not army. Yes! Blood Knight. Fleet, run back. Balthasar, block that charge. Uh, there's Hex Wraiths coming over here, so we need our... Yeah, yeah. Good block, Balthasar. Good block. Don't fire at will. Let's save this thing. We still got a lot to do here, folks. We need to get some shots ready for these Hex Wraiths. Oh, don't waste, don't waste, don't waste, don't waste. Okay, we're about to take out a Vargulf. Okay, I need you to start hitting Hex Wraiths. Balti boy, we're going to need your help over here, son. Come on, pull up. Get a bombardment ready for these Hex Wraiths. All right, get them, Silver Bullets. Get them, Silver Bullets. I really need you to begin firing. Um... Templehof Luminarch, there's a Vargulf there, and I need you to uh, give him a present. Okay, the Hex Wraiths are crumbling. Oh, how do you miss? Well, we did manage to hit an infantry unit behind him. So we get a couple shots there. Okay, Silver Bullets, these guys gotta go. Come on, hit him this time. Yeah, yeah! Okay, 
Okay, the, the wraiths are almost gone. I'm gonna dive Balthasar in just for a minute. I gotta stay over here to help get rid of Vargolfs. Okay, let's get Balthasar to safety. Oh my gosh, that is so much firepower right there. Okay, we're getting outflanked. Turn around and help out. Okay, we have a bit of a problem on this flank over here. It has collapsed a little. I think if we get Balthasar in here to help hold it for just a minute, let the silver bullets do their job. You all take these Vargeist out of the sky, please. Fire at will. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Alright, Balthasar is holding strong. Let's send in some uh, bombardments. Got an idea here, folks. Get that bombardment going. Let's help Balthasar out. Some final transmutation. Call in some bombardments. That melted the Vargeist. Or sorry, the Vargulfs. I'm getting my Vargs confused. Okay. Uh, we've got to get rid of these doggos. Oh, there's more cavalry headed in too. Okay, let's try and deal with the cavalry. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Uh, turn around and shoot the dogs. Yeah, shoot the dogs. Balthasar needs help. Let's keep calling in the bombardments. Shoot the dogs. Shoot the dogs. Kill the dogs. All right, we got to go help this other flank. This is a pretty crazy fight. Silver bullets have a perfect angle here, though. Oh, Balthasar does have greater arcane conduit. Or did we not apply it yet? Crap, we lost a Pistolier unit here. Okay, we gotta do some maneuvering. Uh, wait, 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 shoot the coach. Balthasar is a tank. I don't know how he's managing to hold out over here, but he is. That guy has to have a lot of kills. Yeah, 213. Rid of the cavalry, the black coach is dying. Alright, the vampire army is beginning to lose all of its leadership. Fortunately, our free company just have such high armor, they can basically stand in a fight for a long time. There goes the zombies. There goes another ghoul king. Alright, it wasn't pretty, but we got the job done. It wasn't pretty, but we got it done. I hope we don't straight up lose any units. We might lose Sterling's Revenge, unfortunately. We can always get them back later. Unfortunately, they're 9 Chevron anytime you recruit them. But let's see. Wow. Let's talk about some vampire battles here, folks. And the vampires are probably just going to raise the dead on the next turn, but at least for 30 seconds here, they'll be hurting quite badly because of what I just did to them. <laughs> but the fact that they're sitting here raising up Vargulfs and Blood Knights on every turn is terribly concerning. Okay, we did not lose any units that is spectacular. That is spectacular. But yeah, see, they're gonna come right back and just, they'll be back every couple turns, but as long as we can hold them, we'll take it. As long as we can hold them. Uh, safeguard. I want a lot of treasury right now. Let's go ahead and use our higher nearby mercenaries. Oh, good. We should be able to easily Your defend there. Take some extra money because I don't need the replenishment. All right, let's fix our income because it's kind of a bug. There we go. 
true servant of Sigma. I am ready. Are you? Yes, I am ready. I'm ready for more guns, Balthasar. Uh, you know what? Healing quicker could be handy right now. So... How we doing? How we doing? Wait, did we just get Wad? Why is our settlement blowing here? Faction destroyed, green skins, stranger comes, peace, burger stolen enemy deaths, war declared. Oh, yeah, war was declared, but then the faction was destroyed. Alright, well, works for me. What is this? Why are we glowing green here? Am I missing something? It's odd. All right, uh, maybe it's just our capital glows green now, and I haven't noticed that in the past. I I don't know. Uh, we can get tier three defenses at Swartzhofen. I do believe. Oh, Talapheim is only one turn from being able to be upgraded. We can get tier three defenses at Moot. We now have them at Grinzat, or we're yeah we have them, and we're about to get more pottery kilns, and we're also about to get more iron from the iron mine. Let's go ahead and go full on growth over there. We need to keep that moving in this turn. No doubt we'll be fighting the vampires here again any moment. I trust our dealings What's up, Franzi? Military, you don't need military access. We're not fighting the same people, Franz. <laughs> How about we do something useful? Salt Garrison, a Tribute, a uh, Tribute could be useful right now, and then let's take our money and upgrade Talapheim so we can get to the Elite Units. Uh, in six turns, I've got to save up 11,000 gold, which yes. we can do. The nation calls. It is good to see fellow Sons of the Empire this day. We got Non-Aggression Pact, Military Access. I wish we could have some kind of alliance with these guys so I could come up here and stand with them and use them to help me out. Um, so it could be really helpful. Yeah, Swartzhofen, they're not going to get it at this point. Swartzhofen's ours. Um, that doesn't cost much. We get a pretty good return on it. So let's do that. Same thing at the moot. It doesn't cost a lot, and we get a nice return on it. So two of these will grant me a payback pretty quickly, plus help us save that money. We finish this uh, Colonial Factors, which gives us more income. Untainted faction-wide. Could be really good. And we need to recruit another Witch Hunter, so that would be kind of a cool one. Uh, this actually would be really helpful, too. Additional trade resources. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Witch Hunter one, and then we'll do the trade resources. Because whenever we do re-recruit uh, Gundalf the Black, it wouldn't hurt to have as much of uh, as much of him as possible, as far as experience goes. Oh, are they gonna do it? No, they were just pushing back. Sterland. Okay. Well, we're slowly kind of getting some of the vampire taint out of these lands too, which is good. It's not easy, but it's going to be done. Yeah, look at Sterland like, running around here. I know what in the world they're doing, just raiding. Alright, Fort Oberstyr needs a garrison. Again, we do have to save some money. We've only got so many more turns, but we should have enough, and then these two buildings with income come on. But yeah, the garrison there could end up being critical, because the vampires are just going to train up more armies and just fall right on us at Fort Oberstyr. Nothing about to rebel, I don't think. Actually, Mootland is about to rebel. But it's also about to have a decent garrison. Okay. We can do it, folks. Keep the pressure on these undead fools. We'll take them out. One by one. Yep. Yeah. 
I trust our dealings will yeah. bear fruit, friend. Okay. Here we go. Alright, the vampires have laid in a siege, which I am the Supreme Patriot. seems utterly pointless. We can lightning strike and ruin them, so this is why we got lightning strike, so it's nice knowing you, Gorst. Good plan, by the way. Have a nice trip. Do not waste my potential. We can lightning strike oh, again so here. <laughs> Lightning. Uh, I don't want to get caught there, so let's go ahead and go back. We taught him a lesson. They're not going to soon forget that. All right, Balthasar gets his skill point. Um, let's actually drop it into additional upkeep. Yep, there we go. Look at our income. Just sword. So I think this is going to be a good place to end the campaign. Um, I'm actually out of time to record tonight. Um, I'm about to do some a little bit of travel to see family tomorrow. But when we come back next time, look at this. Fyldorf is upgraded. Talibheim is going to be upgraded soon, which means we can build the engineer's workshop. But most importantly, uh, we can build the academy, which is where we're going to get those uh, eyes and bombers and blitz shoots. And those are the units that I badly, badly want and this army to uh, to carry out the theme, and it'll be just in time to get them in and help take over Castle Drakenhof. So what I'll probably do is, um, like, uh, recruit, like, say, just a general with a few units to bring them down to Balthasar's reinforcements. Plus, we can get that Empire General and start getting him leveled up towards a steam tank. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed the episode. I will see you soon. Air of Carthage, signing out.